guys, it's Friday. We're fixing to head out to the shop. We've got a big pregnant cat following me. Um, wanting some food too. You may hear her meow. Not our cat. Not our cat. But anyway, um, so plans for this weekend. They canceled Thursday and Friday. So it's just a Saturday show. With it just being a Saturday show and seeing as how much rain we've already gotten, we're going to leave our car at the house. We feel like it's uh, best. Just don't know what the track's going to do, if it's going to get rough or what. And that's just not a chance we're willing to take after we just put this much money back into getting it back going. Um, we do realize that racing, you tear up a lot of stuff and we could go out first race and it could still happen. But we're going to try to prevent that this weekend if we can. We will still be racing tomorrow on Saturday. We race in Red Farmer's car. He will be in the F97 in the Crate Lake Model Division. So come out and watch a good day of racing. It's going to be some good racing. There's 604s. Um, it's Supers, of course, 604 Hot Shots. And there's one more class. I can't remember what the other support class was. Um, but it's going to be some good racing. And I feel like it's something that you really don't want to miss. The Hunt the Front Series. Get back. The Hunt the Front Series always puts on some really good racing. You've got some of the best of the best in this region. Uh, and realistically, all around, we've got, there is so many people that are chasing the Hunt the Front series. So that's what the plan for this weekend is. Now the plan for today is to get this seat belt mounted. We sent it off to Hooker. Hooker fixed it. They sent it back to us, or we hope it's fixed. Um, send it back to us and we're gonna put it in the car. Um, go get that in the car. Going to bleed the brakes, transmission, all of that stuff, and check nuts and bolts. Get the fenders put on it. Um, not doing the roof and all that because the roof has to be wrapped. So we're not going to worry about the A-post and all of that just yet. We'll get that on at some point. But we're going to try to get this thing buttoned up, finished up, waiting on a wrap. Our next race isn't, we don't plan to race until, <clears throat> excuse me, World of Outlaws comes to Talladega. It's the 19th and 20th of April. Um, but we do plan on trying to find a practice somewhere. So we'll practice at some point somewhere before we go to that. Don't really want to take this to, uh, to a World of Outlaw race with no laps on it. So that's where we're standing. That's where we're at. Brad's already working on getting the seatbelt in. They did get the seat in the other night, so we'll see how this all works out. <clears throat> Hi guys, so I think Dallas kind of gave you an update of where we're at. Uh, we've been trying to put the seat belt in here that we got back from Hooker uh, the end of the week. Uh, we got it, I believe Thursday. Uh, it is Friday right now. And we've been down here for about four or five hours trying to get this situated and couldn't get it to work. Um, actually, found out that now that the bracket has turned correctly, um, the, the bracket must have been in the car the wrong way the entire time we've had it, obviously, because, let me try to set this up so you can see. Hang on. So it has to mount in the car just like this, like it's going across me. If you can see how that bracket is angled, the way the tub in the car is, that bracket has to angle back. Um, obviously, the way we was having it mounted in the car was like this, and it was twisted. Talking to Neil at Hooker, the belt needs to be mounted in the car like this, with the ratchet down here so that you can ratchet it back and forth. So what we've had to do is we've had to order an extender plate that will raise this bolt location up about two inches and slightly forwards in order to allow this to to angle at a 45 degree angle mounting the car at a 45 degree angle versus being straight up like it has always been so good thing the uh the rain came i i guess you could say and we're not able to race tonight because we're still fighting this. All right, guys, so we went home for just a little bit, ate supper. We're back down here trying to finish this thing up tonight so that it's pretty much ready to go to the racetrack. 
Um, we just got finished bleeding the brakes. The rears had a ton of air in them, but we did have to end up taking the uh, calipers off or the lines off. We had to take something off the rear, so we figured they would have some air in it, and they did. Uh, front were fine, but we got them back where we wanted them, and now he's getting it up on jack stand so we can get the Hammond Motorsports plates off of it and check all the nuts and bolts. So after we check all nuts and bolts, we should be done. We should be ready um, for lettering. All right, guys, so that's going to finish up everything. Told you earlier, we bled the brakes. He checked nuts and bolts, measured everything, made sure everything set up was, was where he needed it to be. And he has started getting the tires on. It's now right at eight o'clock, so I think we're gonna call it a night and be done. Been down here most of the day. Um, but you guys are seeing this video and you'll be at Talladega Short Track tonight. By the time you see this, it'll be tonight because it won't come out till Saturday. Um, we're videoing it Friday night, but Come by and say hey come by and see us we will not have any merch with us this weekend um we won't have our car so we won't have our trailer so we won't have any merch but come by and talk to us come by and say hey and uh, be cheering for us he'll be in the f97 of red farmers tomorrow night in the crate lake model division we'd like to thank all of our partners warp speed performance parts barry apparel co all south sides and graphics bb designs fat daddy's crew out of lafayette indiana next gen services Vincent Race Engines, Gorsuch Performance, Penske Racing Shocks, Brand Transmission. Thanks to all of those fine folks that help us out and uh, keep these four wheels going around the racetrack um, every week. We'll catch you guys tomorrow at Talladega Short Track. I hope you guys are planning on being there. If you haven't already looked at the list of all expected drivers, you should. Brad's name is on there, and we were originally expected um, to be there, but we didn't quite get everything done as quick as we had wanted to. And with us really not getting any practice in, we just, we didn't want to just go out and race. We really want to get some practice laps on this car because we've changed a lot. Um, but anyway, we'll catch you tomorrow.